Hey, everyone. I'm Al McGee with YATicket.com, your entertainment ticket. I'm going to talk about this new film, Bar Molly, One Love. I've been listening to Bar Molly music for a very long time, since the 70s, even before his greatest album came out, Exodus. And I've always been a big fan of Jamaican music for a very long time. Uh, I, I, go, I still go to Jamaican clubs and listen to the music live and dance it and watch the people just get mesmerized. But the music did not become popular until Bob Marley came out with it. And man, this guy was very good. Now this is directed by Ronaldo Marcus Green. You know, he did King Richard and, and Joe Bell. So he should know what to do with this film once he got the script. And, you know, uh, this was uh, executively produced by Ziggy and Rita Marley. So they should know what they want to say in this film. But did they say it in this film? Well, let me tell you what I saw. What I saw was a very good movie. I'm a big fan of Bar Marley. There are a lot of information in there I did not know. And there's a lot of information in there I thought I knew. I heard about him being shot when he's in Jamaica, things like that. Of course, I heard about the free concert and things like that, too, about Bob Marley. You know, those other great people in this film, for example, where Alex A. Game, he played Peter Tosh. Uh, James Norton played Chris Blackwell, the studio boss. And you got Michael Gandolfini. He was American music studio executive. Of course, you got Kingsley Ben Adair as Barb Marley and LaShonda Lynch as Rita Marley. Now, here this film, it opens up in uh, 1976, where Jamaica is divided because in 1962, you know, they got their independence from Great Britain. Uh, and I mean, Great Britain really didn't do this country any favors at all. None. It just exploited the people. And you got to remember the people there are descendants from slaves who were kidnapped and brought to that island to work free for the British and, and things like that. And then the British said, okay, no more slavery, but uh, you're still going to owe us and we're still going to tell you what to do. But they finally are free of that. Who knows? But anyway, in 1976, he and his band, you know, the Whalers, well, they try to throw, and sh you know, uh, this concert free for the people so they can kind of like get together. And, and the concert was called Smile Jamaica. And, you know, he wrote some songs and things like that, but you kind of know the history of it. What happened uh, a couple of days, he and Rita, they got shot. And there's many reasons why they got shot. They thought Bar Molly was for this other party. The other party thought he was for this other party. It, it was all messed up. But of course, one thing they show some flashbacks of their relationship when they started as teenagers dating each other. Yeah, going out with each other. Uh, some things are missing. Some information about that relationship is missing. But it's enough for me for this movie. And I truly enjoyed, wow, the, the relationship that they show between them and LaShonda Lynch and Kinsley Ben Adair. They had some great scenes together in this film, very emotional scenes in this film also. And, but of course, there was flashbacks too of uh, Bob's father. He's a uh, missing in action father. He's a white member of some something. And I, I don't know what it was. I think of the Royal Marines or something like that. But he, you know, I, and, but they never explained did his mother have a relationship with his white father or did he rape her? They never explained that to me also in this film. I, I'm, I was just surprised. If he didn't want to have thing, anything to do with the son, did he want to have anything to do with the mother? 
it didn't really answer that question for me. I really wanted to know that. And also in this film, too, it showed, uh, well, you know, Barb Marley had other women, too. And he had kids from other women. I mean, they mentioned this in this film. Rita does. And like I said, LaShonda Lynch, she plays a good Rita Marley. And I will say this, the creative process that they showed in this film, how they created some of those songs, and while they were recording the songs there in London, and also how his thought process in creating some of the greatest songs I've heard in my lifetime. I really enjoyed that. Now, I, this is a very, very good movie. I really can't knock it. Sure, like I said, there's some things that were not answered for our Marley fans. And you're a young person. You should go see this to get yourself some more information about Bar Marley. They do give you a lot of information. They really do. They don't give you everything, but every every movie can't give you everything. Not every movie does. So I'm going to give this film three palm trees out of four. One, because of my love for Bar Marley. Two, the acting. Kinsley Ben Adir. Wow. He really did a great Bob Marley. He has some of the moves and things like that. But remember, it's a movie. And I thought he was Bob Marley. And that's one thing I like about this film. I thought he was Bob Marley. I felt that LaShonda Lynch was Rita Marley. I, I, I felt all that in this film. That's why I'm giving this three palm trees out of four. Bob Marley, One Love, go see it for yourself. But go see it. See it in the big theater. And when I saw it, saw it at a screening, early screening, well, they had subtitles at the bottom of the film. And as I was walking out of the theater, I heard a lot of people say they are glad they had subtitles. I don't know if this is going to be in the theatrical release when they release it on... Valentine's Day, actually, <laughs> the 14th of February. I don't know. Maybe I should go see it again just to make sure. I probably will. But go see it for yourself. Bar Marley, one love. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channels, X and Facebook, and also here at yeticket.com. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching my review. <laughs> Ladies and greatest movies